Hi, I'm Ashish Mathur. Welcome to a short video on the practical usage of Microsoft Power Query. In this video, I'd like to show you how you can append data from alternate columns of one table. For other MS Excel solutions, you may visit my website ashishmathur.com. Okay, so here's what the data actually looks like. I have an invoice number column, a customer name column, the date of the first payment, the amount paid in the first installment, the date of the second payment and the amount paid in the second installment. Now, I'd like to transform this database and have one column for invoices, one column for the customer name, another column for the dates which should append data from column C as well as E. So have only one column for dates and likewise have only one column for the payment as well, which is append data from column D and column F. So the end result should be a four column data set, invoice number, customer name, date and the payment made on that date. So I'd like to solve this problem by using Microsoft Power Query. So this is what I'd do. I'd select the entire data set, go to Power Query. Under Excel data, I click on From Table. And first and foremost, I get rid of these two columns for the second payment and the second date. And let's rename this to, let's say, date here. Let's rename this to payment here. Let's give it a meaningful name. Let's say first installment and let's simply close and load to. Let's only create a connection so far since I do not want this to appear as my end result. So I just create a connection, click on load. A pane on the right hand side opens up called workbook queries with first installment load is disabled. Now I do something similar with um, the data set wherein I now get rid of the first date and the initial payment over here. And once again, let me simply rename this to date here. Let me rename this to payment here. Let's call the second installment, close and load, close and load to. And for this too, let's just only create a connection. Okay, now the one last step that's actually left is to append the data from these two data sets, first and second installment. So for that, under Power Query, under Combine, I click on Append there. It's the, my primary table is a first installment, secondary one is a second installment over there. When I click on OK, I get a combined uh, data set from the two individual ones that I created in the previous two steps. And if you look down the date column, you can see there's a null coming over there, which I can easily get rid of by unchecking the null box over here. And lastly, I'd like to actually ensure that the data type for this column is date itself. So under home data type, where I see any, I go and actually choose date over there. Now I go to close and load, close and load to, I now want this to appear as a table on a new worksheet. When I click on load, I get another worksheet over there with the data from both the first and the second installment tables. And just a quick cross check, the total of the amount over here is 12,850 as you can see in the taskbar to the right hand side. And if I were to do the same for the source data table, I get 12,850 there as well. And the best of all of this is that uh, this data over here is actually refreshable. So whatever changes I make over here to the data sheet, I simply need to go here, right click and click on refresh. I hope you enjoyed watching this short video. Thank you.